A thunder of jets and an open sky, a streak of gray and a... Ah, Rocky and Bullwinkle. I was just visiting with Miss Peaches. We're discussing early morning television newscasts for like early morning uh, FM zoo shows and the like. I know the FM zoo show, you can probably stumble in just hung over and drunk and some producer hands you a sheet. You got three other zoo members to bounce off of. But boy, those early morning news shows. I remember when I was at LSU, I worked at Channel 2 for a very short time period as like an associate producer. Sounds a lot more glamorous than it really is. It means waking up like 3 a.m. and getting down to that station at like 3.45 in the morning and start editing tape and writing scripts and stuff like that. And I would tell people that those folks that do that, they're not waking up late night and going up to again, going to work. They're not waking up early morning and going to work. They're waking up in the middle of the night and going to work. And that that's a that's a difficult shift to do. It's you got to really adjust to that. Like an Eric Paulson. Eric Paulson's been doing that shift for like 30 years. His life just he dedicated his life to I will be up at three in the morning and retrain my brain and take it as a positive. I mean, I've, I've done that shift before. I've done some morning anchoring at Channel 26 a few years back. You walk out at like 10 30. You're at the elevators at 10 30 in the morning, like my day is done, and it's 10 30 in the morning, 11 a.m. So that's sort of interesting. There's that part of it. But you're like, yeah, my day should be done. It started at three, you know, started at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. It should be done by 11. Anyway, and, and the overnight deal. No, you don't wake up late night. You don't wake up early morning. You wake up middle of the night. I, I, I'd like to say it's like, you know, the folks that have an early tea time are going fish. It's fishing on steroids. I mean, it's it's fishing. You get up like four, four thirty. This you're getting up like two thirty, three a.m., three fifteen, like pre fishing. You know, <laughs> it's 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 real early. It's pre-fishing. <laughs> wow. Anyway, Miss Peaches and I were discussing that. Anyway, we also are discovering that it's probably not all that interesting to you. Any a Tuesday afternoon. Thanks for joining us. The four o'clock hour is brought to you by Leinheimer French Bread. That is interesting. It really is. Leinheimer Baking Company in 1896, before like five or six states were even states. I think we were at like 45 states, 44 states in 1896. Leinheimer baking French bread right here in the Crescent City. And they've been doing it for over 125 years. Times Picayune had a great article on po' boys in New Orleans. It was really great. It, it, it mentioned Gendusa Brothers, and that that's some great French bread. And it mentioned Leidenheimer. And they had a great photo. I mean, as good as it gets. Uh, a delivery guy from Leidenheimer with, like, one hand holding, like, four bags that are, you know, four feet long with big old Leidenheimer loaves in them. And then another four bags that are four feet long holding another eight, you know, Four foot long line home or loaves, just bringing in like 50, 80, 100 loaves of bread to Manali's or something in the photo. No, great article about the po' boy bread and Leidenheimer. And I don't know, it just, it sets up the sandwich perfectly. It doesn't matter if it's shrimp or oysters or roast beef, it holds it all together. It is fantastic if you're at some high-end restaurant and they bring some bread. It's in that little paper bag or it's in a in a napkin wrapped, you know, cloth napkin wrapped up and you open it up and it's that piping hot little mini loaf of Leidenheimer French bread. It's as New Orleans as it gets. Leidenheimer French bread. The four o'clock hour this afternoon brought to you by Leidenheimer Baking Company. It's everywhere at your grocery store for you to bring home, your favorite po' boy shop, your favorite restaurant. If they're doing it right, 
Leidenheimer French bread, huh? Boy, a full slate on this Tuesday afternoon. A ton to discuss. A lot on the table. The NAIA, you know, they govern small schools. There's the NCAA, there's NAIA. Like Dillard, like Xavier, NAIA, Loyola. They're banning transgender athletes from women's events. So a male-born person that transgenders over to female can't participate in female sports. That should be from high school level to college level to professional level to Olympics. It it should be universal. The, The other way doesn't matter. The other way doesn't matter if a transgender female, excuse me, a a natural born female transgenders over to male, so be it. You, you, You can hang with the men scientifically more physical than females, generally speaking. You can hang with the men. Go for it. I mean, I guess she's, she would just get beat up. She's only six feet tall. You know, she's only 160 pounds. But there, Allen Iverson, there are other players that have done this. But Caitlin Clark would get beat up in the men's college game, I guess. But who can shoot like her in the, in the women or men's college game like her? You know, she's fantastic. So if she can play with the men... More power, too. I, Caitlin Clark can play horse and three-point shootout with the men, I guarantee you. NBA men, Caitlin Clark can play sh- horse and, and, and three-point shootout with the NBA players right now. Caitlin Clark can. That's horse, though, and the three-point shootout. The point is, if a woman can do it, yes. But some guy, born a man, born a boy, Born male, transgenders over, which is perfectly fine. That's your choice. Go for it. You can't participate in competition with women. Doesn't matter how long you've been on hormones, what they, what they test at, any of that. Just you can't. It's just an unfair advantage. It's obvious. End of story. Boy, that wits in bar has been causing havoc in that mid-city area for a while now. Folks that go to like Angelo Bracatas to go get ice cream. Folks that go to Venetia to get some Italian food and the like. There's always been like a security guard out there and kind of manning the parking lot by that. I don't know what the bank is now. It's an old FNBC branch that's rebranded now. The Walgreens behind the Walgreens, the red bar, the red door bar, all that's right there. The mattress shop on the corner. Wits Inn was always just sort of this little hole in the wall bar. I guess if you had video poker, or if you didn't, you just sort of scratched by and made it. And of course, you want more patrons and more business. But Wits Inn has been a bar that spills out into the street. Lots of noise, lots of loud music from motorcycles, three-wheelers, vehicles. Lots of folks blocking a lane of Carrollton for extended period of times. That is spilled over to across the street where folks have to park. Parkings become even tighter. Now, I'm, I'm all for businesses having success, including Wits in Bar. But you have to have a certain element at any business that is law-abiding. You know, the the folks that frequent your establishment have to be law abiding. You can't just have sort of this, I don't know how you'd put it, kind of, I, I don't want to say like college attitude because, I mean, when I was in college, we, I remember being like 19, 20, 21, sort of first taste of freedom from parental guidance or oversight and kind of had a do not care attitude, just did not care. Yeah, I'm not saying like that, but but we were never like breaking the law. We were never like sort of we own this street or 
taking over a corner or things of that nature. And then you throw in uh, carjacking, you throw in drifting of vehicles, doing the drifting thing. And now this apparently beloved 53-year-old Darielle King, the bouncer at Wits Inn, not letting in someone with an apparent fake ID who was armed and shot and killed Darielle King. Shot him a couple of times right in the chest. Tuesday afternoon, Corey Johnson with you. Coming right back. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Did you know Rouse's sells only Angus beef? Angus beef's natural marbling means more succulence and flavor. Whether you choose Rouse's USDA Prime, Choice, or Select, it'll be only Angus beef when you get it at Rouse's. Tastes like home. River City's Total Maintenance keeps you cool, New Orleans. NOAAC.com is your cool spot. Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. <laughs> Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes on Magazine, as unique as you. Trey Yen in Mandeville, a New Orleans tradition for over 40 years, serving the finest Louisiana-inspired Chinese cuisine. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Trey Yen. The Woodhouse Day Spa, with five airy locations, New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and now Mandeville. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa. WoodhouseSpas.com. That's what I said. That's French for bread. Leidenheimer. The French bread of the city of New Orleans. Good to the last crumb. Leidenheimer French bread. Custom window treatments can enhance the look and value of your home. At Helm Paint and Decorating, we're proud to offer custom plantation-style window shutters by Scandia. Perfect for any window, including large frames, French doors, sliding doors, and arches. American-made SL300 shutters are available in many colors to match your personal decor. We'll come out to measure, and you'll receive fast delivery. Plus, they're virtually maintenance-free. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us steer you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. For over 20 years, serving healthy, fresh, authentic Middle Eastern cuisine, Lebanon's Cafe. In the Carrollton section of Uptown on the streetcar line, Wednesday through Monday, 11 a.m. to 9.30, Lebanon's Cafe. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809, Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809, Dave Miet, insagency.com. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria has over 15 specialty sandwiches, a big 10-ounce burger, and some of the best pizza in New Orleans. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria, on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview, between Canal Boulevard and West End. 
Yeah, you right. Corey Johnson back at you on a Tuesday afternoon. Pretty nice weather day. But some rain is on the horizon, right? That's what it looks like. It's It's been overcast most of the day, but nice. I mean, not hot, kind of breezy, but cloudy. But uh, like y- tomorrow morning, if you thought you were going to be able to do something like from 7 to 8 or 7 to 9, get something done early a.m., the, the, the rain chance started at like 10 a.m., and this is like in 24 hours, over like three, four hours, it just kept changing. 10 a.m. to 9 a.m. to 8 a.m. And now it's at like, I think, 7 a.m. Yeah, 7 a.m. First chance of rain. And then pretty much all day tomorrow. But then what's great is it brings in lower temperatures. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, High 50s to low 60s to start every morning. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No rain forecast Thursday through Sunday. Friday, Saturday are going to be ridiculously sunny and nice. Each day we start off in the high 50s, low 60s. And the high temperature, we probably won't hit 80. Thursday and Friday, it's low to mid 70s. Saturday and Sunday, high 70s. French Quarter Fest 2024, getting a great weather forecast, about as good as it gets. They're pretty much set up. It's Tuesday. I mean, they're they're pretty much ready to go. They're, you know, tightening down a railing. They're putting something here, putting something there, getting ready for some last-minute things they do. They're, They're pretty much ready to go. And they're accelerating things because they they knew this weather was coming for Wednesday. Hopefully, and it is more severe on the North Shore and even north of the North Shore. Hopefully that continues to be the case and, and the quarter doesn't get much rain at all. So they can keep setting up and the grounds don't get soaked and it's just easier. Anyway, rain tomorrow, but French Quarter Fest 2024, big green light, big thumbs up. Couldn't get really much better weather. I mean, it could easily be like 85 every day and you're just smoldering out there and ridiculously high humidity. Instead, it looks like we're going to get lower than normal humidity and nice temperatures. So a little, yeah, you right. Some legislation going down in Baton Rouge following Texas because it's such a problem here in Louisiana. This thing isn't even decided yet. Ironically, it'll be decided in New Orleans, the Fifth Circuit Court. The Louisiana Senate approves a bill that will allow law enforcement in Louisiana to arrest undocumented immigrants because it's such a problem. They're flowing over the Red River and Mississippi and Pearl River. Have you driven to Mississippi lately and seen the number of immigrants coming over the Pearl River? They're busing them in from Mississippi. <laughs> New Orleans is a sanctuary city and Mississippi's busing them in <laughs> from Biloxi. Oh, boy. Anyway, Louisiana senators just doing like, you know, this is a popular thing. Our voters like it. This works well with our base. Those damn illegals. Never mind that you talk to anybody in real life, and I'm talking conservative Republicans their entire life that are the owners of farms and meat processing plants and dairies. Like 90% of all this in America are owned by Republican, Republican conservatives. Farming, you know, owning the farm, owning the meat processing plant, owning the dairy. It's not like, generally speaking, it's not liberals that do that. It's more conservative-minded folks that do that. That's just a fact. It's just how it is. Banking, more conservative. Artists, more liberal-minded. There's exceptions to the rule, generally speaking. 
You talk to these upstate New York dairy farmers, boy, you, you want to put us out of business? You want no milk on the shelf? You want the gallon of milk that's on the shelf to be 30, 35 bucks a gallon? Yeah, get rid of the undocumented immigrants. They're our entire industry, meatpacking industry, farming. They've always been here, always been here since day one. Now, I'm not saying there isn't a border crisis. I'm saying undocumented immigrants that are part of the culture of the country, part of the fabric of the community. That, that, that no one else is doing that gig. And, and if someone else, hey, we'll get a documented worker, we'll get someone from America that's a citizen, they're taking our jobs away, then a pint of strawberries is going to be 12 bucks and a chicken's going to be 20 bucks and steak's going to be $60 a pound. Seafood, all of it just through the roof. So it's a give and take. It's, it's a natural, organic thing. No one's like, bring in the... The illegals, they come for the opportunity to work. They naturally have gravitated towards those jobs that apparently we don't want to do, that they embrace. They're living here. They're paying sales tax. And in Louisiana, we're not like Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California. We don't have any illegal alien, illegal uh, migrant, undocumented undocumented immigrant problem. None in Louisiana, zero. Tens of thousands tops. They're not stealing anyone's jobs. They saved anyone in New Orleans, metro area, post Katrina, South Louisiana, saved our rear ends. Ask folks, post storm Lake Charles, New Orleans. Are you kidding? Just part of the fabric of America. Anyway, you know, th this is what kind of burns me up. I, I, I'm a New Orleans native, make, makes me a Louisiana native, obviously. We have a coast problem. You know, we don't have a problem with Mexican immigrants. We have a problem with the Gulf of Mexico taking away our coastline. Governor Abbott of Texas is never going down to Grand Isle. He's never sending, you know, 100, you know, state troopers it's not state troopers, a uh, National Guard, 100 National Guard from Texas to Grand Isle to move boulders to shore up the shoreline because of coastal erosion. But Jeff Landry, two weeks into being the governor, flies down to Texas because it's so concerning. And then gives, a, gives them, what, 100 National Guard troops? I mean, I, I, I don't know what I'm missing here, but I'm pretty sure... Texas is a rich state that's doing very, very well financially. Their economy is booming. It has been for decades. Dallas just surpassed 8 million people in the metro. Houston, over seven and a half. San Antonio's north of three, and Austin's closing in on San Antonio. All they have is growth, all they have is money. And they're coming to. Am I mistaken? Broke Louisiana, no money, no economy. Unlike Texas, we're culturally rich, where Texas is the opposite. But we don't have money, and we're sending our National Guard, where our taxpayer money, it's like three million bucks, to Texas to help their border crisis? Are, are they going to return the favor and help build, rebuild our coastline? I don't think that's an unrealistic comparison, question, none of it. Forbes released their billionaires list, the richest people in the world. Gail Benson's 477th. Forbes now estimates her, her worth at $6.1 billion. Last year, it was $4.7 billion. That's a $1.4 billion increase. That's nearly 30% increase in a year. Not like three or four, and that would be three or four really good years, huh? 
three good years. Last year, four point seven billion. Gail Benson, six point one billion. Todd Graves raising canes, fifty two years old. Gail Benson, six point one billion. Todd Graves, nine point one billion. The raising canes guy is the two hundred seventieth richest person in the world, according to Forbes. Now there. I'll, I'll give you an example of a guy who I would say is worth north of Gail Benson. And I wouldn't doubt if he's worth north of Todd Graves. I have no idea, but I'm, I'm pretty confident he's worth north of Gail Benson, 6.1 billion, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of Todd Graves, 9.1 and, and maybe more, maybe more. He's a local guy kind of rides under the radar, likes it that way. Bill Goldring and uh, I'm going blank on uh, Sazerac, the Sazerac companies. I mean, 10,000 plus employees worldwide, distilleries all over the world. This is a, a New Orleans guy, lives uptown, very mild-mannered, He's got his headquarter building, I think, uh, what, on Metairie Road by, by the train tracks right there? Anyway, I, I, I think he's worth north of Gail Benson, $6.1 billion, and I would I know it's the neighborhood of Todd Graves, 9.1. I, I wouldn't doubt if it's... For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L A I T R A M dot com. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. 1970 was an exciting time in New Orleans. The first Jazz Fest was held, the city hosted its first Super Bowl, and the first Helm Paint location opened on Earhart Boulevard. While the floppy disks, mood rings, and pet rocks may have come and gone since the 70s, Helm Paint has grown to become your premier source for quality Benjamin Moore products, competitive pricing, and personal service. Please visit one of our locations today, and we'll meet our competitors' prices on any identical product. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us steer you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. In USA Today ranked the 10 best must-visit New Orleans restaurants for travelers. Mid-City's own Katie's made the list. USA Today says Scott Craig is chef-owner at Katie's, a much-loved Creole Italian eatery that draws armies of regulars for lunch, brunch, and dinner. A neighborhood spot where locals congregate and New Orleans-style hospitality rules. Indeed it does. Katie's in Mid-City. Ladies and gentlemen, in this Lamarck Automotive Complex is something called quick lane. Tires, wheel alignments, you know, struts, servicing your transmission. We're doing all makes and models. It doesn't have to have been purchased from us. It's for you. It handles your lifestyle with your budget in mind. And we want to get you in and out as quick as possible. Quick lane, you got to come see it. You're going to love the experience right there at Williams Boulevard in Kenna. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. The Woodhouse Day Spa, with five airy locations, New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and now Mandeville. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa, woodhousespas.com. 
Outdoor dining, Middle Eastern cuisine, under the oak trees, Lebanon's cafe, some of the city's finest lamb chops and shish kebab, Carrollton at Jeanette by the streetcar barn, Lebanon's cafe. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine, as unique as you. For Leidenheimer Baking Company, producing the perfect French bread is more than a vocation. It's a sacred mission. And for five generations, they've used the same time-honored process, baking their signature loaf with its crisp crust and delicate center, unique and still good to the last crumb. From the finest French Quarter restaurants to your local po'boy shop, for over 125 years, New Orleans' own Leidenheimer. Yeah, you right, Crescent City and beyond. A buddy of mine moved into that airline Severn area. And uh, I'll tell you what, a lot of a lot of tear down and rebuilds call them the McMansions. Jamming those big old two-story, 4,000-square-foot houses in a lot that wasn't designed for it. But anyway, boy, that Shell Station or whatever, totally gone. The Chick-fil-A, the lot that the Chick-fil-A is sitting in is giganticus. And they're going to landscape it up. And uh, it's going to be a Chick-fil-A, like Chick-fil-A on Tulane and Carroll. Well, not even, I shouldn't say that. It's going to be one you can sit inside, like Chick-fil-A uh, on Williams, or excuse me, Vets near Williams. Chick-fil-A on the West Bank. Now, that Chick-fil-A on Tulane and Carrollton, someone was telling me, I don't know how they're doing that. That's not going to work in that neighborhood. I'm like, are you crazy? It's three miles from Uptown. It's three miles from Old Metairie. Uptown folks are going to hit the one on Tulane and Carrollton. And the Old Metairie folks still will if it's like on their way. But that other one's going to become like the Old Metairie, Old Jefferson Chick-fil-A. No, what a, I, I like the move because that's such a crusty part of Jefferson right there. I mean, airline needs all the help it can get. And like the, the end of Metairie Road, the end of Metairie Road a, a decade ago needed help. You go drive down the end of Metairie Road by Labar now, there's hundreds of millions of dollars in investment. I remember the galley seafood used to sit by itself. It's a little white building with all the grass around. And you could have like a festival at Galley Seafood. You barely can see Galley Seafood. It's brand new buildings all around it. Two-story, you know, balconies, retail, law office, whatever. Restaurants and the like. No, it's totally different. Airlines getting an up, uh, 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 you know, uh, taken up to another level. They, they changed the name. Like the industrial canal is now the industrial waterway. They're trying to wink, wink, you know, Bridge City, Fairfield. It's Fairfield. No, it's Bridge City. It ain't Fairfield, you snob. Airline is Airline Drive, not Airline Highway right there. Everybody still knows it as the Airline, right? Airline Highway at Labar. No, Airline Drive at Labar. You have to change your voice when you do it, too. You can't be so yaddy. You just can't. Dude, I was launching my boat in the Industrial Canal, and, you know, uh, I was in launching the watercraft at the Industrial Waterway. Anyway, Airline Drive is a little nicer, and that it, it's like the Chick-fil-A on Tulane and Carrollton. Like, like, I welcomed it because that's an upgrade to that crusty corner. Where that was what? It was the Burger King, and then it the Burger King closed, and now that Chick-fil-A just churns out the business. That corner over there, Severnit Airline. I mean, I would imagine eventually the the cement plant, the concrete factory, caddy corner, eventually they'll be like, 
wink, wink, you know, here, here, we want, will want, set you up over here in Elmwood or somewhere else, some industrial area, you can do it there. And then that's going to be like a strip mall. And then all of a sudden the dominoes start falling and stuff starts getting redone or torn down and something new takes over and then airline drive can take off. They can take off. You know, it is a surprisingly nice neighborhood that I don't think a lot of people are aware of that. And, and, and because on Jefferson Highway, they're in a bunch of nice stuff to support it. Do you know where like that triangle Chinese restaurant is? I think it's like St. George at Jefferson Highway. So it's right past Central, in between kind of Central and that Chinese Triangle restaurant. You have like Newman, Dodge, um, what's the other street? Jefferson Heights, I think. They go from River Road to Jefferson Highway, and then they go from Jefferson Highway to like the train tracks, the Earhart Expressway. So it's Jefferson Highway to like the Earhart Expressway, Central to like St. George, before, you know, Elmwood area, that little neighborhood is unbelievably nice. Like they're like a ranch style house. And then there's like a big two story Spanish stucco with the big stairwell stairway to enter the front porch. And then there's like modern stuff and there's old uptown looking houses, monstrous two stories. I mean, it's a hodgepodge of all kind of stuff, but nice. And it looks like a nice neighborhood driving through there. I'm just shocked there aren't more things on Jefferson Highway. I guess they have Elmwood, but it is sort of a restaurant desert in that area. I mean, you got Oak Oven down the street's pretty good. I think the Thai joint across the street's pretty good. You got Nephews over by the Krispy Kreme. There's not a whole lot of restaurants and stuff that you think would support that area. But I guess, you know, the more of those folks keep investing in those areas, the more money that goes into those areas, the more stuff that goes into those areas. That curve in, in, uh, on uh, Jefferson Highway by Oshner coming in from Orleans, Paris, that little S curve, a lot of stuff going on right there from like a new firehouse to the waffle house, to uh, Pigeon catering, to expansion of uh, what was that Glazer distributors right there? Just on and on and on. Oshner's investment. A lot of stuff going on. So all that stuff's starting to take off a little bit. That's good to see because it's been so crusty and beat up for so long. So it's sort of, I guess, a low standard. But yeah, it puts a smile on my face. It makes me happy when like, depending on the area, when like Tulane and Carrollton gets a Chick-fil-A. It's like, cool, they're investing in that area. I mean, I'd love to see like a Chick-fil-A on like St. Claude, you know, a Chick-fil-A on Claiborne. I'd love to see that. Love to see that. I know people are just like rolling their eyes when I suggest that. I like seeing the Chick-fil-A at, at Airline Highway at Severn. And it's under construction. And they don't mess around. They move fast. This isn't the Six Flags site where they're breaking ground in 2032. Be there for that. The mayor, by the way, will be Frank Smith. He's 14 because it's not happening till 2032. Wow. Tuesday afternoon, some legislation in Baton Rouge to discuss. Following Texas, because it's such a problem here in Louisiana, the Louisiana Senate approves a bill where local law enforcement can arrest undocumented immigrants. So ridiculous. The NAIA doing the right thing. Where's the NCAA? Where's ever, anyone else where women compete in sports? I am 110% for folks that choose to transition over from male to female, female to male. That is their choice. That's how they're built. One could easily argue it's brave and courageous. Some people want to just discount it and say they're crazy. Whatever. It's America, freedom. Do what you want to do. But when it comes to women's sports, it can be at the high school level, the college level for sure, the Olympic level for sure, professional female sports. 
be it golf, tennis, WNBA, soccer. You can't have a transgender female competing with the women. Someone who is born genetically male, genetically male, chose to transition over. That's fine. But one thing you turn over is your sports competition card. Unless you're playing like intramural or with women that are like, hey, we know Brenda was once male and transitioned over. We like the competition. Bring it on, Brenda. But competitive sports, that that college level, Olympics, professional, it's an unfair advantage for the transgender female and a disadvantage for the natural female. The opposite is doesn't apply. Some genetically born female that transitions over to male, lacking the hormones and all that, and, and can compete with the men, more power to you. Good going, Jimmy. But uh, the opposite just isn't true, and it's painfully obvious. And it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal for some transgender female that doesn't understand that then that's a shame that they should be able to understand that they should be able to understand that and are there going to be exceptions where the woman's going to to beat the transgender female of course but it's still taking some somebody's spot someone's place first second third whatever no, it's just obvious. The NAIA, which is the smaller colleges and universities like Loyola, Dillard, Xavier, NAIA. The NCAA, I mean, should be universal. Representative Mandy Landry's House Bill 98 having trouble provides that a marriage shall consist of the union of two persons. Right now in Louisiana, it is one man and one woman. That's the law in Louisiana. This is House Bill 98. I don't know if it's going to gain traction in this political environment in Louisiana. Top 11 food and wine. Top 11 food cities in the United States of America. I don't know how you can ever knock New York off the, the top. I just, New York City's 20 million in the metro, 20 million plus. I mean, if you really want to get into it, with like New York, New Jersey, some of Connecticut, it, 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 it's some of the finest restaurants. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center. It's open now. We fix cars and trucks. We do all makes and models. And it doesn't have to be a Ford or a Lincoln. It could be whatever you're driving. 32,000 square feet under roof. Now open at 3101 Williams Boulevard. It's all about you, the customer, getting the most for your dollar. I would say the most perfect collision center anyway. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center. 3101 Williams Boulevard. Go check it out. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto Home Flood Business. 504 556 0809. Dave Miet. INSAgency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto Home Flood Business. 504 556 0809. Dave Miet. INSAgency.com. From the owners of Katie's in Mid City and Bienvenue in Harahan, an old school deli with over a dozen specialty sandwiches. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview between Canal Boulevard and West End. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. <laughs> That's what I said. Ooh, That's French for bread. For over 120 years, New Orleans' very own Leidenheimer French bread 
It's time to relax. The Woodhouse Day Spa, Metro New Orleans' premier day spa experience, now with five area locations. For a day of relaxation or maybe just a quick one-hour getaway, the Metro area's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa. And now five area locations. New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and our newest location in Mandeville. The Woodhouse Day Spa. WoodhouseSpas.com. Rouse's Market is hiring. With 65 stores, fuller part-time employment, and flexible scheduling, Rouse's has a job for you, or maybe even a career. Apply at any Rouse's store or online at Rouse's.com. What actually lasts a lifetime? Not much, but at Helm Paint, we have something guaranteed to last a lifetime. Benjamin Moore's Regal Select. This paint and primer in one offers cutting-edge waterborne technology, smooth application, and long durability. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, your New Orleans paint store. Young's Dry Cleaning, with two walk-up locations with personal service. Young's on Claiborne and Young's on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview. Young's Dry Cleaning. Call 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frame. Uptown on the streetcar line, Wednesday through 30, Lebanon's Cafe. The port of gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Yeah, you, right, Crescent City and beyond. Corey Johnson back at you on a Tuesday afternoon. Hey, Latrum is hiring. Latrum, I talk about them all the time. It's an incredible company. Go to their website and check them out. The LaPere Stair, the alternating tread stair, just genius. So simple, but genius. The shrimp peeling machine, stepping on the shrimp with the rubber boot on the dock and the shrimp squirting out clean and the peel staying behind and working that out to make the shrimp peeling machine, the all-plastic modular conveyor belt. All these inventions are when you see what they are, you're like, man, it's pretty simple. You're like, boy, just genius. The guy just ahead of the curve, J.M. LaPere. His company, Latrum, his sons run it. J. LaPere, Robert LaPere. It is a New Orleans-owned and operated company. Did north of a billion dollars in business last year. Worldwide, they're on every continent. That shrimp peeling machine born and invented here in New Orleans and Constantly getting upgraded and perfected, improved. The industry standard around the world and the all plastic modular conveyor belt. I mean, name something that uses a conveyor belt, some entity, some company. Mercedes Benz, Ford, GM, Anheuser Busch, Pepsi, Coca Cola, you name it, food processors, chicken, meat, whatever. It's on an Intralox all modular plastic conveyor belt, most likely. Latrum is looking for you, looking for employees. Latrum.com for a full listing of positions available. Latrum is spelled L-A-I-T-R-A-M, Latrum.com. They've got a an I-12 facility, so you North Shore folks are covered over there as well. Tuesday afternoon edition of the program. A lot going on. Yeah, I was mentioning going into that break, food and wines, top 10 best food cities in the United States. I was just saying, I don't know how New York's ever not number one. It is the most populous city in America. It still is really like the the first mover for the world, New York City. 
it's still like the, you know, the, the world city, the, where everything starts and stops and it's New York. So it's, you can ride in a taxi or walk down a city block in New York and hear four or five different languages within a block, within a block. And, and, and a few of them, you can't even recognize the language. You have no idea what those people are speaking. And there's a lot of these folks, so restaurants open. And I think just about any kind of food on planet Earth is pretty much available in New York City. And if it isn't, you could get it. I mean, it's just insane. Someone would make it, and it would be authentic. New York City, best food city in the United States, probably the best food city in the world. Probably the best food city in the world. New Orleans, according to Food and Wine, number two, best food city in the United States. Chicago, three. Chicago's got some incredible restaurants. You know, nine plus million in Chicago land. Nine plus million folks. And, and a lot of, you know, Italians and Germans and, you know, Irish, a lot of immigrants. So lots of restaurants. No, it's some of the best food in the United States in Chicago at all different price points too. a little more New Orleans. Like you can get a cheap lunch, you know, New York slice of pizza is 12, 15 bucks. I mean, there's, there's no cheap lunch in New York. This is where it gets a little goofy. Austin, Texas is number four. So it's like dear food and wine. You're going to put Austin, Texas ahead of San Francisco. You're going to put Austin ahead of Miami or Washington, D.C. But how about this? Let's stay in state. And I don't think Texas has a lot of culture. Houston is an international city now because of the medical centers and all that. They're an international city. That museum district, that restaurant district, there are all kind of mid-high to high-end restaurants that are very, very, very good in Houston. And then the suburbs the affluent suburbs of Houston's that some have a million plus people in that general area. They've got some really good restaurants. So by sheer size, about two and a half times booming Austin is Houston. So to have Austin ahead of like Houston and, and probably even dull Dallas just by default, 8 million folks, you're going to have some good restaurants. So I think Austin is just sort of a someone paid food and wine to get Austin in at number four. It's silly. New York City, New Orleans, Chicago, Austin. It's like, really? Where's San Francisco? Los Angeles, five. Charleston, sixth. Miami, seven. DC, eight. Here's another one where, you know, you have to... This is where you just throw the list out the window. Portland. No, no, no. Maine. Portland, Maine, not Portland, Oregon. I mean, ha, Google that for us, Miss Peaches. Ha, I mean, seriously, how many restaurants are in Portland, Maine? Seriously, not how many good restaurants. How many restaurants are in Portland, Maine? How many people live in Portland, Maine? If you're putting Portland, Maine, number nine, I'll put Lafayette, like similar size, I'm guessing, community. Portland, Maine, ninth. We're going to have to get Brett Martell on the program. He's from Maine originally. No, dude, Portland's got some good restaurants. <laughs> Portland, Maine. Here's another one which I think is kind of gimmicky, Miss Peaches. Honolulu in at number 10. Honolulu, Hawaii. And come on, what, for a $30 burger? Seattle, 11. That makes sense. Big city. I can see that. Portland, Maine at 9. 800 restaurants in Portland, Maine? Wow. I'll have to look into that during the break. Corey Johnson with the on a Tuesday. Yeah, you're right. It's Blue Boy saying stick around. Five o'clock power. You're on the Newsome Ground with Corey Johnson on TV on Cox Channel 4 and Spectrum Channel 333. Also on YouTube, on radio at NOLA Talk, 93.9 FM, WSLA New Orleans. 
It's 5 p.m. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504 556 0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504 556 0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Hi, this is Joey Helm. My dad, Bunky Helm, had a vision. A vision of a locally family-owned store serving the residential and commercial paint needs of New Orleans. I think dad would be proud of today's Helm paint and decorating. And here's why. We have the best technical staff in the business, providing the best color matching service in Southeast Louisiana. Perfect matching for any color and any brand. Then we'll save your color so you don't have to save those old cans. Helm paint offers free two-hour delivery. Our in-store decorators will assist you on deciding what color and type of paint to best showcase your home. But most importantly, as your local independent Benjamin Moore dealer, our products provide the greatest value in the paint industry, superior coverage, and Benjamin Moore paint simply covers better and lasts longer. New Orleans is a city of vibrant color, and no one else provides the paints of New Orleans like Helm Paint and Decorating. Visit any of our six locations or online at HelmPaint.com. Helm Paint, Helm Paint, let us do you right. Helm Paint, Helm Paint Rouse's, New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's has the only full-service grocery stores both in the French Quarter on Royal Street and in the CBD on Barone in the old Sewell Cadillac building. The Rouse's on the River, Chapatulas at Napoleon, is in a century-old warehouse. And uptown on Ferret at the corner of Valence is Rouse's all-new boutique store. With seven locations in Orleans Parish, Rouse's is New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's Markets. Taste like home. Ford F-150, number one seller in America. What about in the USA? Uh, let's see, what about in the world? Who sells more trucks than Ford? Nobody. It's because the Lamar team is the real team. All that makes it happen is one goal. Everybody having a great experience at Lamar Ford. We became number one for a reason, because we're good. And we need to prove it every day, every deal, all the time. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes on Magazine, as unique as you. Ooh, la, 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 that's what I said. Ooh, la, 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 that's French for bread. Leidenheimer. Five generations, family owned and operated. Leidenheimer French bread. It's time to relax. The Woodhouse Day Spa, Metro New Orleans' premier day spa experience, now with five area locations. For a day of relaxation or maybe just a quick one-hour getaway, the Metro area's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa, and now five area locations. New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and our newest location in Mandeville. The Woodhouse Day Spa, woodhousebars.com. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. 
The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. <laughs> Uh-oh, Dragnet. The story you are about to see is true. Governor Jeff the Landry. Names have been changed to protect changing. The Law enforcement in Louisiana. No parole. Easier to execute. 17-year-olds as adults. Crime legislation. Troop and in New Orleans. The AG handling cases. It's Dragnet. Yeah, you right. It's the five o'clock power hour on a Tuesday afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. Got a good one lined up for you. Miss Peaches was at the controls, but she just fell over. Literally. And there's like a, a what do you call it? A handle, right? The half gallon. I call that a handle. It's like only like half of the handle left. That means I think a handle's like two fifths, right? Two two liters. She's knocked out like a fifth or a liter of alcoholic beverage. Miss Peaches is laying sideways on the ground right now. And there's a misty cigarette burning in between her two fingers still. Amazing dexterity. It's a Tuesday afternoon edition. Yeah, you right. Some rain could be headed our way. Looks like, oh, not overnight, but early, early tomorrow morning. You know, I was checking out the forecast. Will I be able to do something early in the morning? 7, 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Rain was going to start like 10 a.m. Then it was 9 a.m. And then it was 7 a.m. And the latest and greatest is about 7 a.m. now. Rain tomorrow. But that's good. Because it's Wednesday, it's going to start early, it'll end sometime in the afternoon, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, outstanding weather. We wake up every day, Thursday through Sunday, high 50s, low 60s. On Thursday and Friday, it's low to mid 70s. On Saturday and Sunday, high 70s, lower than normal humidity especially on Thursday and Friday. Th Thursday is going to be an outstanding day at French Quarter Fest. It's going to be a little overcast. It's going to be breezy. And the temperatures are going to be in the 60s most of that day. And low humidity. It just, it's going to be tough to beat. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, thumbs up. Won't hit 80. A lot of sunshine on Friday and Saturday. A lot of sunshine. You better put on the block. But just great weather. We won't hit 80. 60s and 70s. French Quarter Fest 2024. Cranking up at 11 a.m. Thursday morning. Yeah, you right. Great weather. Fantastic. Hey, it's crawfish season, right? Prices coming down. Crawfish getting larger. Best quality. Best selection. Yeah, South Louisiana crawfish from South Louisiana ponds, scooped up daily, every day. Best price. I'm talking about Rouse's Markets. It's crawfish season. You want to have a crawfish boil at your house? Rouse's Markets has everything you need, from the pot to the burners, the propane, everything you need. The seasoning, and yeah, the live, by the sack, South Louisiana fresh crawfish. Maybe from the farm that morning, literally. Rouse's Markets, live by the sack crawfish, ready for you to take home for your crawfish boil. And they've got everything you need for your crawfish boil. Maybe you're like, I just want to eat hot from the pot crawfish, ready to eat. I don't want to boil them myself. Rouse's Markets has you covered. They have crews at just about each and every Rouse's Market. All they do all day long is boil crawfish. Hot from the pot, crawfish, ready to eat right now at your neighborhood Rouse's Markets. Tastes like home. It's crawfish season. Rouse's Markets. 
No one sells more crawfish by the sack around here. No one sells more South Louisiana crawfish live by the sack than Rouse's Markets. No one sells more hot from the pot, ready to eat boiled crawfish from South Louisiana than Rouse's Markets. Nobody. Nobody. It's like king cakes during Mardi Gras. No one sells more king cakes in the world than Rouse's. Same thing with crawfish. Live by the sack. Hot from the pot, ready to eat Rouse's Markets. They're number one. Some legislation going down in Baton Rouge following the Texas model because it's such a problem here in Louisiana. The Louisiana Senate approved a bill that allows local police to arrest undocumented immigrants. Why? That is like not a problem at all. Just the waste of time to even focus on this. But this is Jeff Landry, who, what, two weeks into being governor, flew to the Texas-Mexico border for a photo op and then doubled down and sent 100 U.S. National Guard troops, Louisiana National Guard troops to Texas, costing taxpayers in our state about three million bucks. I'm pretty sure that Texas is a rich state. They can fend for themselves. This is their problem, not ours at all. You know what our problem is? Coastal erosion. Do you think Texas is even aware of it, much less gives a single you-know-what about it? Seriously. They don't, they, they don't give a crap and are oblivious to our coastal erosion problem. And they're not about to send Texas National Guard to Grand Isle to bulldoze big boulders around to shore up the shoreline or get a dredge out there and shore up a barrier island. It ain't happening. No, Texas is a rich state. They can fend for themselves. Louisiana is a poor state. We've got our own problems. And, and, and Jeff Landry hasn't mentioned the coast since he's been governor. But he's been to the Texas-Mexican border. He's got U- Louisiana National Guard troops down there assisting a rich state. It's mind-blowing. And now the Louisiana Senate approves a bill that allows local police to arrest undocumented immig- immigrants. It's just silly. It's a waste of time. We don't have an undocumented, undocumented immigrant problem at all in Louisiana. Not in the least bit. The opposite. We're indebted to those folks after some of our storms, like in New Orleans, in Lake Charles. Hitting the brakes on the brake tag bill. Apparently, the state police have stepped up. You know how much money we get from brake tags? And not ticketing folks that don't have them, like they get part of the brake tag fee. Hey, Senate, come up with the money, the few million bucks, and get rid of the brake tags. It's mind-blowing. It's unbelievable. That's where the needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many. The state police went to the legislature and said, you're taking away our funding source. No problem. We'll we'll figure out another way to fund that because we're going to cut the citizens slack and get rid of this worthless break tag thing. Isn't that a shame? I'm, I'm all for the state police. But you got to get the few million bucks that's generated for them from break tag sales, get the money from somewhere else for crying out loud. It's unbelievable. So break tags will continue now in in New Orleans and Louisiana because the state police derive some of their funding from it. That that's about as backwards ass as it gets. Speaking of representative man, Mandy Landry has house bill 98 and she's having trouble moving this thing forward. Talk about backwards ass. You want to know what her bill does? It changes the Constitution, the law in Louisiana. It provides that marriage shall consist of the union of two persons. Can't marry a cinder block, can't marry a dog. But any two people can get married. That would be changing the law in Louisiana, because right now how it reads... The present law in Louisiana, marriage consists of the union of one man and one woman. 
And that, by definition, is not a marriage. And why would anyone care? Why would anyone care? I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. You take the, this just, I mean, I'm not making stuff up, it's just how it is. You take the general population that, hey, they're pro-gay rights, they're not homophobic, stuff like this. They're like, they pretty much are what they are. What they tell you they are, that's what they are sexuality-wise. The folks that have problems with like gay marriage or homosexuals in general, homophobic, the percentage of those folks being like bisexual or easy or even closeted gay is much larger numbers than folks that accept homosexuals like they accept straight people or anybody else and them getting married and rights and all that aren't intimidated by them or worried about it or any of that. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Young's Dry Cleaning, with two walk-up locations with personal service. Young's on Claiborne and Young's on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview. Young's Dry Cleaning. Call 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Rouse's Market is hiring. With 65 stores, fuller part-time employment, and flexible scheduling, Rouse's has a job for you, or maybe even a career. Apply at any Rouse's store or online at rouse's.com. That's what I said. That's French for bread. Leidenheimer. Served in New Orleans' finest restaurants. Leidenheimer French bread. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, it's open now. We fix cars and trucks. We do all makes and models, and it doesn't have to be a Ford or a Lincoln. It could be whatever you're driving. 32,000 square feet under roof, now open at 3101 Williams Boulevard. It's all about you, the customer, getting the most for your dollar. I would say the most perfect collision center anywhere. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, 3101 Williams Boulevard. Go check it out. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. <laughs> Custom window treatments can enhance the look and value of your home. At Helm Paint and Decorating, we're proud to offer custom plantation-style window shutters by Scandia. Perfect for any window, including large frames, French doors, sliding doors, and arches. American-made SL300 shutters are available in many colors to match your personal decor. We'll come out to measure, and you'll receive fast delivery. Plus, they're virtually maintenance-free. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us stay you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. The Woodhouse Day Spa, with five area locations, New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and now Mandeville. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa. WoodhouseSpas.com Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto, home, flood, business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto, home, flood, business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. 
In New Orleans, we don't eat to live. We live to eat. More is better. Scott Craig of Katie's. That is our slogan. More is better at Katie's. It means more of everything. Not just more food, more smiles, more friendship, more love, more, more, more. When you do something, you have to do it right. It's all about more, and it's all more of the good things. Get more at Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City. Yeah, you, right, Crescent City and beyond. Corey Johnson back at you. French Quarter Fest cranking up Thursday. Don't let this weather, these clouds, this rain that's coming scare you. This is ideal. It's coming in tomorrow morning, some rain, maybe overnight, and into tomorrow, and then it's going to stop. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no rain. This rain tomorrow is bringing in a little cool front. So we're going to start every morning, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, high 50s, low 60s. And then creep into the low to mid 70s on Thursday and Friday and into the high 70s on Saturday and Sunday. What more could you ask for? How about the big blue plate mayonnaise blow up jar that you often see at festivals? You can go give it a big hug. Some of you have been wondering where your blue plate mayonnaise has gone. Nowhere. It's on your grocery shelf right now by the jar, by the squeeze bottle. There's just a different label on your blue plate mayonnaise. Different label on the outside of the jar or squeeze bottle, but inside all that good stuff you love. New look, same legendary taste, blue plate mayonnaise. It's there where it's always been. Corey Johnson with you. Forbes magazine releases their billionaires list. The richest people in the world. Gail Benson, owner of the Saints, owner of the Pelicans. She's the 477th richest person in the world with a valuation or net worth of $6.1 billion. She was at $4.7 billion last year. That's a $1.4 billion increase, almost a 30% increase in a year. $1.4 billion in a year. Gail Benson, $6.1 billion. Guess which Louisiana native, Baton Rouge guy, 52 years old, is worth $3 billion more. 50% more than Gail Benson. Todd Graves, $9.1 billion. He owns 90 plus percent of Raising Cane's. Of every location, 90 plus percent. And there are eight, 900 locations. So you do the math. Eight, 900 locations valued at, I don't know, four or five million bucks each. Do the math. He owns them all, basically, 90 plus percent. $9.1 billion. A guy who's very low profile, Bill Goldring, local New Orleans, New Orleans native, Tulane grad, owns Sazerac companies, 10,000 plus employees worldwide, distilleries around the world. I, I, I feel I can safely say that Bill Goldring is worth more than Gail Benson's $6.1 billion. And if you ask me, do I think he's worth more than Todd Graves, $9.1 billion, I would say yes. And he goes under the radar. He doesn't want to be on the list. I think he made Forbes list one year, then knew the people to call to get off the list. Doesn't want the notoriety. Doesn't want the spotlight on him. But Bill Goldring, local philanthropist and owner of Sazerac, He's worth billions and billions and billions, too. He just likes playing it under the radar. Good for him. Hey, Trey Yen in Mandeville, good for the Wong brothers, embracing our local seafood bounty. They love it. But if you're going with like four or more people, get the entree of honey pecan shrimp as an appetizer. Get the entree portion of honey pecan shrimp 
as an appetizer. If you have four, four or more people at the table, just a fantastic dish. And it's a great entree if you want to just go with that by yourself. So good. Just big, plump, local shrimp with this honey sweet glaze and these pecans that are seasoned and just perfect. Outstanding. Honey pecan shrimp. One of the many great seafood dishes at Treyen in Mandeville. And those lunch specials, my God, 10, 11, 12 bucks for gourmet Chinese cuisine, literally. The to-go container, that they're heavy. It's full of Chinese cuisine. And if you dine in, the plate, it's, it's almost spilling over the side. About 20 different entrees to choose from. 10, 11, 12 bucks. Maybe the best lunch deal in the world, in the United States. Fast food prices, not for like decent Chinese food. It's not Chinese food. It's Chinese cuisine. It's superior. It's Trey Yen in Mandeville. Tuesday through Friday. Don't forget about those lunch specials. I mean, you're an office manager in Mandeville or Covington. Get 50, 100 people. You can feed them at Trey Yen with those lunch specials. Speaking of food, top 11 food cities in the United States, according to Food and Wine. New Orleans, one of the best food cities in the U.S. New York's number one. I don't know how you ever can knock New, New York off that pedestal. New Orleans, number two. Chicago, three. Here's an outlier. Not San Francisco, four. Austin is four. San Francisco doesn't make food and wines top 11. Austin, number four. That, that's just a joke. I mean, Houston has better restaurants than Austin. And I don't think I'd put Houston in the top 11. So Austin, I don't know what they did to get number four ahead of L.A. Austin, Texas, according to Food and Wine, a, a better food city than Los Angeles. And San Fran's not even on the list. Charleston, six. Miami, seven. D.C., eight. Here's another one. Portland. Not Oregon. Portland, Maine. Portland, Maine, ninth best food city in the United States. That's insane. Honolulu, 10. That's insane. Seattle, 11. Top 11 food cities of the U.S. by food and wine. New York, one. New Orleans, two. That's the important stuff, huh? Huh? The NAIA, that's sort of the smaller colleges and universities, not the NCAA, like LSU and Tulane, NAIA, like Loyola, Dillard, Xavier, those athletic programs. The NAIA has banned transgender athletes from women's teams. So a genetically born male that transitions over, which I have no problem with, they can't compete with females Women NAIA sports. I'm all for that. Transgender females should not be competing in female sports. High school, there shouldn't even be transgender, you know, at least not the physical part. And if you're not doing the physical surgery and all that, and it shouldn't happen because you're not an adult and you don't know really how you feel sexually and you're still growing and all that. There are too many cases of gay people straight people that are 20, 30, 40, 50 go, my God, I would have elected for that surgery or done the hormones and that would have wrecked my life. I had no idea who I was. So it shouldn't even apply to high school, but because it, it shouldn't even be applicable. There are no transgender high school athletes. And if there are, they can't compete on the, on the women's teams. A genetically born male transitioning over is fine. More power to you. I think it's courageous and brave if you're doing that. It's not, that's not for someone weak to do that. That is obviously how you must mentally, physically, in your heart, in your soul, feel as a human being. Do it. More power to you. And if you're genetically female and transition over to male, you can compete in male sports. But a genetically born male that transitions over to female, like I said, more power for, to, for, to you and you be you and all that stuff. 
but you can't compete against women. Not in high school, not in college, not in the Olympics, not in the pros, not PGA, LPGA golf, not tennis, not WNBA, not soccer. Transgender females can't compete high school, college, Olympics, pro sports, female leagues. It's an unfair advantage. It's obvious. It's known. It doesn't matter about therapy or surgeries or hormone count, testosterone count, any of that. A male, generally speaking, is physically dominant, generally speaking, over a female. There are exceptions to all the rules and all that stuff. Women can have babies. Men can't. Tuesday afternoon edition of the program. Corey Johnson with you. Yeah, you right. Thanks so much for joining us. Helm paint and decorating now in Baton Rouge. Are you kidding me? Seven Helm paint and decorating locations in Metro New Orleans, East Bank, West Bank, North Shore. And now four Baton Rouge area Helm paint and decorating locations. That's right, Baton Rouge. For over 55 years, Helm taking care of New Orleans. Now they're going to take care of you in the capital city. Benjamin Moore Products, painting experts. That's all they do. Free two-hour delivery anywhere in Metro Baton Rouge, just like they do in New Orleans. Yeah, when you got to paint in Metro New Orleans, when you got to paint in Metro Baton Rouge. Do it once. Do it right. They'll steer you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Decorating. Now with four Baton Rouge locations. A lot going on in Baton Rouge with the legislature. When we return on this Tuesday afternoon, I'll fill you in on what's going on in Baton Rouge and how it affects you and your life or how it doesn't affect you or your life. A lot of needs of the few over the needs of the many us going on right now in Baton Rouge. Don't move. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine, as unique as you. For Leidenheimer Baking Company, producing the perfect French bread is more than a vocation. It's a sacred mission. And for five generations, they've used the same time-honored process, baking their signature loaf with its crisp crust and delicate center, unique and still good to the last crumb. From the finest French Quarter restaurants to your local po'boy shop, for over 125 years, New Orleans' own Leidenheimer. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center. It's open now. We fix cars and trucks. We do all makes and models. And it doesn't have to be a Ford or a Lincoln. It could be whatever you're driving. 32,000 square feet under roof. Now open at 3101 Williams Boulevard. It's all about you, the customer, getting the most for your dollar. I would say the most perfect collision center anywhere. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, 3101 Williams Boulevard. Go check it out. From the owners of Katie's in Mid-City and Bienvenue in Harahan, an old-school deli with over a dozen specialty sandwiches. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview between Canal Boulevard and West End. Francesca Deli and Pizzeria. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. 
Intralox, a Latrim company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrim.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. The Woodhouse Day Spa, with five airy locations, New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and now Mandeville. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa, woodhousespas.com. Rouse's, New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's has the only full-service grocery stores both in the French Quarter on Royal Street and in the CBD on Barone in the old Sewell Cadillac building. The Rouse's on the River, Chapatulas at Napoleon, is in a century-old warehouse. And uptown on Ferret at the corner of Valence is Rouse's all-new boutique store. With seven locations in Orleans Parish, Rouse's is New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's Markets. Taste like home. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. Scott Craig of Katie's Restaurant. All of my ingredients are fresh. Nothing comes out of a can. Nothing. All of our seafood is in Louisiana. All of our vegetables are Louisiana vegetables. It's a neighborhood restaurant. Katie's in Mid City. Yeah, you, right? Crescent City and beyond. Corey Johnson back at you. Thanks so much for joining us. On this Tuesday afternoon, some rain tomorrow expected starting in the early morning, but then it's going to end by the afternoon. And then we got four great days of weather for French Quarter Fest starting on Thursday. Yeah, you right. The governor has a lot of legislation out there. There's legislation that keeps a lot of things that are normal, normally public record, public access. The governor wants to change it where the public won't be able to access some things. Uh, One might be like a public records request on what the governor is picking up at the grocery store that taxpayers are paying for. Now, here's some hypocrisy for you. Jeff Landry is pushing through the legislature, legislation that would dictate what food items folks on, what is it, the Louisiana Purchase Card, what food items they can purchase. There are already restrictions on what food items they can purchase. Can't get alcohol or cigarettes, things of that nature. But they want to make it only healthy things, not like soft drinks or potato chips. And you think of these things, you're like, great idea. And then then you're like, how much abuse is going on? And I guess we've all seen it once or twice in our life at the grocery. But you figure most folks, especially today, how, you know, welfare and food stamps and all that have been funneled down to a much more efficient level than they were a generation ago. It's not even close. It's night and day. You figure most folks are just trying to feed their kids and their family. They're not trying to take advantage of the system. So there's legislation out there to dictate what folks can buy on that Louisiana Purchase food card. Yet the governor, his grocery list, I'm not making this up, about 800 bucks at a local grocery Little Debbie snack cakes, M&M's, both peanut and plain. I love M&M's. Laffy Taffy, literally on the list. So the governor with taxpayer money is going to buy Little Debbie snack cakes and M&M's and Laffy Taffy. But 
those with food stamps, you know, that type of thing, the Louisiana purchase card, they can't buy these items. Just a little bit of hypocrisy there. But I certainly do love M&M's. Corey Johnson with you on a Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, you right. The NAIA doing what the NCAA should do. NAIA, smaller schools, smaller universities. NCAA, LSU, Tulane. NAIA, Dillard, Xavier, uh, Loyola. Those athletic programs. The NAIA banning transgender athletes from women's teams. A genetically born male that transitions over cannot play on female teams. I am 110% for anyone that wants to transition over. I mean, it's, it's brave and courageous. Someone feels in their heart and soul who they are. It's different from their physical appearance, how they were genetically born. I get it. I don't, I have no desire to do that, but I get that's what you want to do. And I'm, I'm all for it. If that's what you want to do. But if you're a genetically born female that transitions over to male, more power to you. You can play on the boys teams in high school. You can play on the college teams. You, if you can make them, you can play on Olympics. You can play pro sports. If you're a genetically born female that transitions over to male and you can play with the men, all for it. But if you're a genetically born male and you transition over to female, which for me, for, for you doing that personally, I'm, I'm all for it. But you can't play sports against women. You can't play high school sports against girls. You can't play college sports. You can't play in the Olympics against women. And you can't play pro sports. It could be golf or tennis or WNBA soccer. You can't. Men, generally speaking, physically stronger than women, generally speaking. There are exceptions. You can always find a woman who's physically stronger than some man that's not as physically strong. Generally speaking, we all know that to not be true. So a woman transitioning over to male, play with the men if you can. That's fantastic. A man transitioning over to female should not be allowed to play competitive female sports like high school, college, Olympics, pro sports. The NAIA gets it. Everyone needs to get it. It's simple. And it's not in any way, like trying to discriminate against female, you know, those that have transitioned over to female. No, that has nothing to do with discrimination. I think any body that has transitioned over from male to female knows there's a physical advantage. You were genetically born male. All the hormones or testosterone or surgery or whatever, lack of, more of, isn't going to change that. It might lessen it, but it's not going to ultimately change that fact that you were born genetically male. Therefore, you should not be able to compete against females in sports. Now, if it is females, some intramural league or just some teams, they're like, we don't care if transitioned Females play with us, great. But high school competition, college competition, Olympics, pro sports should not be allowed. And it's pretty simple. I think any female that transed over to female would understand that. Corey Johnson with you on a Tuesday afternoon. Representative Mandy Landry's House Bill 98 having trouble gaining traction. And it makes sense when you think about the political environment in Louisiana right now. Mandy Landry's House Bill 98 is commonsensical, and it's something that should have been done years, decades ago. It provides that a marriage shall consist of the union of two people. That's what Mandy Landry's House Bill 98 says. 
provides that a marriage shall consist of the union of two persons. The present law in Louisiana, marriage consists of the union of one man and one woman. I mean, it's it's laughable. It's funny if it, if it weren't so sad and tragic and true. It's 2024, people. My God, it's 2024. To, to still be on the ridiculously wrong side of this issue is insane. And for Mandy Landry's House Bill 98 to have trouble gaining traction instead of being embraced in 2024 is actually mind-boggling, mind-blowing. Louisiana. I mean, this is so simple. Do the right thing. Step up. Do the normal thing. And embrace House Bill 98. A marriage shall consist of the union of two persons. Not talking about marrying an, your dog or a cinder block. Two persons. But it can be two men or two women or transgender people, whatever. The present law in Louisiana is embarrassing. A man and a woman. Welcome to 1974. We're going to have some nice weather. You might be running heat. You North Shore folks are going to be running heat some of these overnights after the rain comes through tomorrow. South Shore, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, high 50s, low 60s when we wake up. You'll be running heat. But then on Saturday and Sunday, it might be 78, 79 degrees, almost 80 you might be running air conditioning. If you ever need AC or heat help, it's easy. It's River City's total maintenance. Every day we broadcast live right here, the Buddy Deliberto River City's total maintenance studios. River City's total maintenance. That's fair and honest Lucas and the boys. Incapable of doing any service or repair, or even replacement that is not absolutely necessary. They're air conditioning and heating experts, over 30 techs, over 30 trucks, a few centuries of knowledge and expertise. And they come immediately. Lucas knows you're inconvenienced. Your AC, your heat's not working right or worse, not working at all. That's why they come right now. The three big things you need with an AC or heating outfit, honesty, air conditioning and heating experts that come immediately. You get all three from River City's Total Maintenance. Fair and Honest Lucas and the boys. All you need to know is NOLAAC.com. Their phone number's there, 841-3300. Easy to remember, 841-3300. But what's even easier, if you ever need air conditioning or heat help, NOLAAC.com. You need AC or heat help, NOLAAC. Dot com. Corey Johnson with you on a Tuesday afternoon. Wits in bar. Trouble on Carrollton at Canal. It's been happening a while. Now tragedy is forcing the city's hand finally. My situ, that's Arabic for grandmother, used to make the best football kibbe. You can experience kibbe just like my grandmother used to make and so many other Middle Eastern favorites on the streetcar line, Lebanon's Cafe. Here at the NOLA Coalition, we love our kids and we love our city. The people of New Orleans are standing together for a better future. By harnessing our collective resources, the NOLA Coalition will create a safer, more prosperous city for all residents. Your support is needed to help reduce violence, invest in our children, and drive generational change. Join now at nolacoalition.info. <laughs> That's what I said. Since 1896, a true taste of New Orleans, Leidenheimer French bread. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency, Auto Home Flood Business, 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. 
Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. It's time to relax. The Woodhouse Day Spa, Metro New Orleans' premier day spa experience, now with five area locations. For a day of relaxation or maybe just a quick one-hour getaway, the Metro area's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa, and now five area locations. New Orleans, Metairie, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and our newest location in Mandeville, the Woodhouse Day Spa, woodhousespas.com. The Port of New Orleans is the gateway to global commerce, the economic engine that moves Louisiana and our country forward. For more than 125 years, Port Nola has continued to deliver the goods we use each and every day by river, rail, and by road. No matter what, it all happens right here, delivering Louisiana's future at the Port of New Orleans, your working river. Learn more about your Port of New Orleans. Visit portnola.com. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrim family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrim company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrim.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Trey Yen in Mandeville, a New Orleans tradition for over 40 years, serving the finest Louisiana-inspired Chinese cuisine. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Trey Yen. Ladies and gentlemen, in this Lamar Automotive Complex, there's something called quick lane. Tires, wheel alignments, you know, struts, servicing your transmission. We're doing all makes and models. It doesn't have to have been purchased from us. It's for you. It handles your lifestyle with your budget in mind. And we want to get you in and out as quick as possible. Quick lane, you got to come see it. You're going to love the experience right there at Williams Boulevard in Kenner. Yeah, you, right, Crescent City and beyond. Corey Johnson back at you on a Tuesday afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. Some inclement weather rolling in tomorrow morning, but right now just kind of breezy and nice. Comfortable too. Maybe some outdoor dining at Lebanon's Cafe. Open till 9 30. Outdoor dining under the big green awning, under the oak trees on the streetcar line. They're at Carrollton at Jeanette by the streetcar barn. I highly recommend Lebanon's Cafe. That chicken shawarma that I get, fantastic. I, I get it a little extra crispy. Some tabbouleh on the side, a fried football kibbe. Lebanon's Cafe, open on 930. Take advantage of this weather before the rain tomorrow morning. It's comfortable outside. Get outside and enjoy it. Outdoor dining at Lebanon's Cafe. The brake tag bill hits the brakes. This is just sad and pathetic. This is where... Short-sighted politicians, the needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many. I mean, overcome this, go around it, figure out a solution. The brake tag bill hits the hits the skids because the state police are like, hey, guys, we make money off the brake tags. Don't take that revenue away from us. Hey, no problem. We're going to get rid of the brake tags because it's a burden on citizens for no, no kind of return. And we'll figure out this few million dollar shortfall and we'll we'll get it to you, state police. So you don't have to worry about the revenue from the break tag. But it's the needs of the few outweigh the needs of the many, us and the state troopers. I don't want them to have a monetary shortfall, but you figure that out. 39 senators, 105 House reps and get rid of this bogus break tags. You're going to keep the break tags now. That generate millions of dollars. A little bit of it goes to the state troopers. Gets spread all over the place. Probably a bunch in people's pockets. Going to keep that now because the 
state police are losing the revenue from it, figure out a way to get that revenue back. That is absolutely insane. Just crazy Louisiana. Brake tag bill hitting the brakes because the state police have said, hey, guys, we get revenue from the brake tags. Don't, don't get rid of them. And the legislature, the representative that put this bill up, threw up his hand and said, okay, over with. Crazy. How about us, the citizens? Following Texas's lead because it's such a problem here in Louisiana. The Louisiana Senate approved a bill that allows local police to arrest undocumented immigrants. The law may not even go into effect in Texas, much less in Louisiana. Ironically, the Fifth Circuit here in New Orleans is deciding if it's constitutional or not. Should states be handling a federal, this is a border thing. You have the United States, a, 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 a you know, treaty with Mexico on certain things, and then a state might violate that treaty by doing something. So, I mean, it, it's a federal issue. Who knows how the Fifth Circuit's going to uh, respond on this, but this seems more of a federal issue than a state issue. And how could states handle it on their own? The feds need to handle a border crisis. States aren't going to have the wherewithal. I mean, if it were reversed, you think the states would be begging the feds for help? Representative Mandy Landry's House Bill 98 having trouble gaining traction. It provides that a marriage would consist of the union of two people. Right now, the law in Louisiana is one man and one woman. Like archaic and yesteryear. Wits in bar. What about a block off of Canal Street on Carrollton? Across the street from like Venezia, across the street from Bracada's ice cream joint in the mid city neighborhood. It's always been there. I mean, I shouldn't say it's always been there, it's been there for a few decades. It's always been kind of like a little neighborhood bar, you know, not like some crazy wild college bar or, you know, they have a drink special and the, the crowd just spill it out into the street. But the last few months, year or so plus, it has become kind of a, a crowded bar. It's just become a hot spot. And it's brought in an element that gets a little out of control, that kind of has a I don't care attitude. Look, when I was in college, when I was young, we you first taste of freedom, you're like 19, 20, 21, you kind of have a don't care attitude. I'm an adult like you, I do what I want. But we never broke the law. And crowds spilling out on the street, public drunkenness, you know, the drifting of the cars, carjacking, shootings, gunshots being fired. And now this supposedly just super friendly guy, 53-year-old Dariel King, they, a bouncer at Wits Inn, weary of some fake ID, the patron had a gun and shot him twice in the chest and killed him. Yeah, this is right across the street from Venetia and Angelo Bracatas. Carrollton at Canal in the heart of Mid-City. You can't have that. That problem needs to be solved. Already a problem with folks blocking a lane at Carrollton for extended period of time on both sides. Taking their time, sort of this I don't care attitude. Already causing problems with Regular adults that just want to go to the businesses and restaurants in that area, the Walgreens, whatever. Anyway, something's going to go down. It, it should have been taken care of already. But now, because of this murder, it will be taken care of at, at Wits Inn. Hey, are you tired of your dry cleaner? Simple question. You know, Corey, now that I think about it, a lot of the time they're on the collar rider. They have it wrinkled still or a button's broken. How did they not fix the button? Young's dry cleaning will take care of you. If you're tired of your dry cleaner and want to experience the best, it's simple. Young'sDryCleaning.com. 
All the info's there. Walk-up locations, free pickup and delivery. You can sign up on the website. And even manless locker locations. Young's Dry Cleaning. Dot com. That's Blue Boy. What's that, buddy? Thank Miss Peaches. Thank everybody for watching and listening. We'll be back manana straight up four o'clock. Wide open Wednesday. Be there. You're on the neutral ground with Corey Johnson on TV on Cox Channel 4 and Spectrum Channel 333. Also on YouTube, on radio at Nolatalk 93.9 FM, WSLA New Orleans. It's 6 p.m.